Be right back in a little bit. Uh oh. Oh, okay. Link Star says. Let's see. Oh, I say, <laughs> young master, you're not even that old. Why are you just thinking about this? Why is your way thinking just solely about material gain? I guess like profiting, yeah. Oh, thank you for that one. Oh, no, no, I, I, I figured. You're rich unto the point where you can rival a country, is what it, that, actually, that word means. Fu ke di guo. Anyway. Whether or not, let's not even speak about the fact that now you, you don't even have a penny to your name. Even if you were rich, in, if you were extremely rich, I wouldn't regret it at all. So yay! Or not, I wouldn't regret it at all. It's more like I wouldn't care. Yeah. <laughs> wow, I'm actually surprised you're the one saying this, Ling Sha, for how money minded she is. In any case, in any case, money is like some kind of earth. Or earth. When you're born, you can't bring. <laughs> when you're born, you don't bring money in, and when you die, you can't take it with you. So, how could it be more important than having someone's? Than a single person's life. Yeah, money is like dung and dirt. She forgot the saying. She doesn't wait to say the dung word. Yeah. So it's like money is just like whatever kind of dirt. When you are born, you can't bring it in, and when you die, you can't take it with you. How could it even be more important than the person's life? Anyway, maybe now he'll be a better person. Sometimes people become better because someone else's act of kindness. I'd probably have that help. But we just bet completely by chance. We don't even have any relation. <laughs> we don't even have any relationship to each other. But yet you, you're treating me. You're treating me. I know. Oh yeah, thank you by the met by chance. Yay! I'm reminded of saying "Ren zai tian tang, qian zai yin hang." Oh, okay. That saying means that Lucian Queen says like, "Humans are when a human is in heaven, your their money remains in the bank." Basically, mean you can't take money with you when you die. Some religions believe you kinda kid like or past religions but not the current modern religions i don't believe they yeah because enlightenment nah you can't take money with you in buddhism in christianity nah you can't take money with you that they say it's no use <laughs> whatever could it be that Anyway, Jing, Jing Yang says, like, could it be that my uh, my appearance being so handsome that you fell in love, <laughs> that you've secretly fallen in fall in love with me since the very beginning? Oh, come on. You think she's trying to flirt with you? Oh, kiddo. She, anyway, Lee Sa said, whoa, whoa, what? <laughs> I towards you? Yi Yan said, Ha ha! Ha ha, I understand. So your name's Ling Sha, Ling Sha, right? Ha 
Oh boy. Oh crap. Where are we going with this? <laughs> oh man. Oh, thank you for... Oh no. I, I, I figured. I was afraid this was gonna happen. Oh, kiddo, you so silly. Anyway, Jing Yang says, I'll definitely remember. Because of. Uh, because of what you. Uh, because of what the. The love you showed me when I was in a difficult. Time. Uh, the love you. Like the love you've shown me today while I was in difficult. In dire straits. From this day forward, I will definitely, definitely, uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, so it's, it's basically he's saying, like, I will marry you openly, but that just, it just means, like, I'll definitely marry you formally. That's just the best way to do it. That means it's, like, it's not a secret marriage. It's, like, a real one. A real marriage that you can actually have a ceremony and all that fun stuff. Anyway, future, I will definitely make you my wife in public. And I'll have you be married to me. And be my f number one wife. Oh, uh, like, be the most, the formal wife, basically. Uh, I don't know how to say this. Um, if you remember my lessons about, like, how Chinese marriage works. Basically, like, if you have, like, uh, if there's an appropriate partner that can be, like, the real, the number, the first wife. It's just the highest position. That's basically what he's saying. He's like, you can be my, like, the... Like your like the real official wife, like the one that would actually get the um, the one that would actually get the ceremony and be my wife officially. Let's see. Even though you're older than me by quite a bit, but let's see. And you're uh, let's see Jiang Hu Chao. Oh, I see. And you're just some or <laughs> some mediocre member of the <laughs> the martial arts world. I'll definitely make sure you never even suffer a single, <laughs> a single injustice. Oh my goodness! No, he, she's not helping you because she wants to marry you. Oh my gosh! Oh, kiddo, you're so funny. Oh, please, please. Ning says, like, "What did you say?" Oh. <laughs> oh, this is getting. Oh, this is going out. I'm sure the bank first is like, what the heck? <laughs> anyway, Tian He says like, Ling Sa, you're going, <laughs> you're going to get married to him, and you're going to be. <laughs> so in the future, you'll go, you'll be always be together. Well, then what will happen to me? Then no, <laughs> no one will be able to play with me anymore. Let's see. Ling Sa says like, You shut your mouth! Stop adding- <laughs> Stop making things more confusing! Ling Sa says like, <laughs> Oh, this is great! Sorry, I just ran away. I'm like, oh my goodness gracious. Ling Sa says like, You little cretin. You, you, you. Just what did you eat while you were growing up? Your, your way of thinking is complete nonsense. Oh man. Ah. Oh. Lisa says like. Wow, fifty percent interest. Jeez. Uh. Anyway. Nisa says like It's not <coughs> Uh how do I say this in this way? Like Nisa says it's not that I like you. Anyway, 500 <coughs> These 500 t um tiles of of silver with <coughs> with a deadline of 10 years and a 50% interest rate. 50%? Goodness gracious. At that point, you have to follow the, um... 
At that <sighs> at that time, according to the balance and the interest, you need to return it to me. You hear me? Oh. She's he's like, pay the interest and the balance by in 10 years or else. <laughs> oh, jeez, this game. Oh. Oh, oh man. Anyway, Gia says like, Huh, Lisa, don't, don't be like that. My mother did say that. That young girls like, um... That, how's the best way to put this saying? It's like, they like saying stuff with their, like... They like saying what they don't actually mean. Yeah, that's the best way to say it. I wish this would avoid. No kidding. My mother said that that young ladies like to like to say things they don't actually mean. After ten years, you should come to the to the west bank of the <coughs> of the dragon lake outside the city. It <coughs> city the um, at the Jing family place to find me. I'll def I'm definitely not gonna move. Where <laughs> basically he's like, I'm definitely not moving any time. Not moving. So basically his family lives by the west on the west bank of the Dragon Lake outside the city. Find him in ten years. Jingyan says. Huh. Oh, I hope so, right? Anyway, he says like, Jin Yang says, As for those, as for that silver, it should be no problem. When I was nine, we had a fortune teller, fortune telling or divination. The Taoist said that among, in the Jing family, from, <laughs> from starting from me, in the future after among many generations, there should be one person who will become the Shu Zhong Gui Ju Fu. Will become extremely rich. Oh, I guess so. I hope there is. Yes, unfortunately, he's talking about a character in uh, Sword and Fairy 3. So, yes, this is actually. Ah, uh, yes. Now I should actually reveal why this is Jing. Jing Yang is important. So he's the um, I, he's one of the ancestors of the Legend of Sword and Fairy 3's main character Jing Tian, who actually became really rich after the game. He was very money minded and he had managed to gather lots of money. So unfortunately for Jing Yang, that's really not gonna help him, but hey, whatever. Among the many <laughs> Later generations, there should be one person who will become the richest, the richest person in all of the Sichuan province. Let's see, just <laughs> just five hundred tails of silver. It's not even. Ah, <laughs> uh, is like hmm. So I see now. It's nothing, <laughs> not even worth mentioning. Basically, he's saying like someone in his gen, someone. Of one of his descendants will become really rich, and that means they can pay him out, pay her back. Jing Yang says, "Like, <sighs> wow, oh Jing Yang. Well, I guess maybe he. <laughs> I think. Oh my goodness. Oh jeez. Anyway." <clears throat> Well, so it's not. Uh, well, let's let's make that a promise. This piece of jade, I'll give to you. Uh, I'll give to you as a as an engagement present. Really? Wow. Present. Every every t if any time you think of me, you can also come and see. Uh, you also can come see me. Oh my goodness. Ah, uh, jeez. Yeah, we got a uh, crystal. 
Oh my goodness, this kiddo. Oh, I know. That kid. Well, I mean, look, Ling Sha may not like him. I think this I think she... I think he really likes Ling Sha now. Oh no, Ling Sha, what have you done? Now you made a kid like you. Because you were too nice. Well, I guess, given. Oh, Jia Hua, much told tale. Yeah, no words. I have no words, Ling Sha. She's like, did that really happen just now? <laughs> oh no! This is it. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Okay, anyway. So, this is the manager, the bank manager, Zheng Fu Da, says, Oh, I never would have thought this bank would become a place where, <clears throat> where a young man and woman would be able to. Would be able to uh, settle such an important, an important, life-changing matter, or basically like something related to the re something, resolve something that would affect the rest of their lives. Basically, that's just a nice flowery of saying of settling like marriage, because marriage is a lifelong thing, and it was treated that way. Because, um, let's just say divorces were not easy to do and only could be done by men. Yeah, fun stuff. Yeah, Chinese society is very fair, I know. And by that I mean no, it's not fair. Anyway, Sun Fu Da's like, Oh no, I have to go find find a scholar to to record this event. In the future, it will be passed down as a as a much told tale. And yeah, exactly. Obviously this it clearly didn't work out because Ling Sha is like, ah, uh, I don't like you that way. I'm sorry. I'm just being nice. Oh man, boys will be boys. <sighs> Ling Sha's like, if I had known this, if I had known this earlier, I would have given him money. <sighs> that little cretin. His brain, <laughs> his brain must have problems. Ning Sa says I never <laughs> I would never hoping that <laughs> I was never expecting that he would return the money but yet he but yet he wants <laughs> he dares have the have the return let's see have the date of returning money go all the way to his his descendants, his descendants, descendants, and his descendants, des and the descendants of his descendants, descendants. And he basically say like he's still like he's just he just can't, could can't just say like yeah we'll return it to you in five lifetimes. I'm like no, she's just like really. Anyway, who knows just which generation. In their family will become that rich, will become the richest person in all of Sichuan. Basically, say like, who knows which generation will have the richest? Tianhe says like, Ling Sha, uh, you you're not really going to marry him, right? Ling Sha's like, no, I'm. <laughs> I'm, I'm already gonna get so angry. So you better not try to anger me anymore. Oh, I'm sorry, Ling Sha. I wasn't trying to make her more, make her angry. I was just asking. Side quest done. We got a, a crystal, and we also found out a little more about a, an ancestor of Jing Tian. The Legend of Sword and Fairy 3's main character. Uh, I like Jing Tian. He's a he's a funny guy. He's a, a antique nut. So yeah, this is clearly like a few hundred years before. Yes, this is definitely a. F this is actually pretty early in the timeline. It's before the Legend of Sword and Fairy 3, which is before the Legend of Sword and Fairy. Sir, sir, Legend of blah blah blah. blah. 
The Legend of Sword and Fairy 1 is actually pretty late in the timeline. The Legend of Sword and Fairy 3 is before... Um, Legend of Sword and Fairy 1, and the Legend of Sword and Fairy 3 side story is also before the Legend of Sword and Fairy 1. And this means this game is before the Legend of Sword and Fairy 3. So the latest in the timeline as we know it right now is the Legend of Sword and Fairy 2, which is after the Legend of Sword and Fairy 1. 1 a.m. stream? What? Alright, let's go take care of this. Let's go buy some wine. Oh, hi. Go to the second floor. Alright, I did say before this. <laughs> hey! Tianhe says, Ling Sa? Shh. Keep. Uh, lower your voice! Let's see. Keep your voice down. Oh, Zi Ying, that guy. So I found. <laughs> so I finally caught him doing something pretty crazy. <laughs> pretty interesting. He, uh, it ends up. Uh, it turns out that, that he's been. That he's met up with this. <laughs> with a beautiful woman. <laughs> a beautiful. Uh, beautiful woman in the. Let's say Jiu Fang. It's like a place where you're like. In this wine shop, in a wine shop, and he even put, he even paid money to, uh, to treat her to a drink. I think Ling Sha's overthinking this. Yeah, she's also one of your guilds, so stop thinking that way. That is. Oh my gosh. Su Xing says, Haha, <laughs> this is really good, good wine. Oh, it's too bad that one bottle just isn't enough. Oh, when I, when you drink it, I just don't feel like it's quite, <laughs> it's so satisfying. Would you be able to, f oh my goodness. Would you be able to find me the bigger ones? Oh. Oh my goodness. He's like, nah, this is too small. We need a bigger one than that. This woman drinks like a sailor. Or or a Korean. Whatever one you want to use. Whatever one you would like to use. Can we get the big <coughs> big jar kind? Big jar. Maybe that's the best way I could have translated. So the is like. Sisu. <coughs> Susu, you know that drinking wine is harmful to... Drinking wine can harm the body. <laughs> Su Xing says, the lady here. Oh, I remember when you were just 18. Let's see. Oh, anyway, she's like, oh, I remember that. Remember that you're only 18. Oh, uh, no, 19. You're not even... You're not 69 years old. Why are you so... <laughs> why are you so... Why are you so much like an old... So old-fashioned. Oh. Oh. You were so much cuter when you were smaller. You even came... You even follow, uh, followed behind me because you wanted candy. So it looks like this is... Uh, Su Xing is like someone who knew Zi Ying when he was just a kid. Chasing me for candy, I know. I like her. I always forget this word, but okay. No. Alright. Su 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 Su. If I'm 
if I may be so bold, may I ask, just when are you? When will we be able to take our leave? Or like, when will you be able? Let's see. When will you be able to to start the journey? Start the journey, or like to take your leave and and come with me to to return to Quinlan Mountain. The leader has been. The leader has been has been missing you this whole time. I know he's so formal to her. Ah, oh, let's see. So she says like, "Oh, Xiao, little Zi Ying, your your face is all red. It couldn't be that when you that you're ashamed when you." <laughs> You feel ashamed when you hear about things that happened in the, about things you did, uh, you did in the past. I think it sounds like. <laughs> Zing says like, Lisa. Oops. Zing says like, uh, oh no, when I heard. <laughs> Or I heard a person say... When I heard someone <laughs> someone call him Little Little Ying, I accidentally laughed. Oopsies. Oh well. So Xing says, and you all are, all are. Mo Rong Zi Ying says, Zi Ying says, like, they are. Let's see. These are. Uh, these people are my Shi Zi, which is like the younger. Methodical and speech actions, let me see. They have just entered the guild, so they don't quite know the. They don't quite unknow the rules. Let's see. So, <laughs> if, uh, they also, they don't quite understand the rules. They might have, if they have offended, I'm afraid they might have offended, offended Shi Su, or like basically like if they have offended you, basically. Family drama stuff. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Anyway, oh, she's just saying like. Like they don't quite understand the rules. They've even that they don't quite understand the rules. They even managed to offend you, Sisu, or like basically like they didn't show the formal. Oh, okay. Anyway, so she says like, "All right, all right. I was just asking casually. There was there a need to be so serious about it? Oh." So she says, "Have you come down the mountain to take care of it, <laughs> of some matters? Let's see. Oh, <laughs> ouch! Let's see. Oh, following this, <laughs> it by Ian is like, oh, following a susu that's such a stickler for the rules. I'm sure your days must." Must not be easy. Oh, he he's just like, oh yeah, this guy is a pain in the butt, huh? Ning Sa says like, <laughs> he called him that too. Wow. Oh my goodness! Anyway, Ning Sa's like. Oh no, it's nothing like that. In actuality, little Ziying, she calls him little Ziying. Oops, is he's pretty good. Like he's pretty nice. He's very nice. Sorry, basically. He also loves to be sad, <laughs> loves to worry, and he's also he's shy all the time. Normally, he's just. He just puts on that frozen face of his just to fool people. Oh, always worrying and always shy. 
He likes to worry and he's always shy. I'm like, what? Is that Zi? He's not always shy, but <laughs> whatever. Old inside. You so silly. Yeah, he's got an object. Lisa, 